honor and a profound sense of responsibility as a newly appointed Inspector General of Police of Nigeria. I am most humbled by this opportunity to serve our great nation and I'm fully committed to upholding the ideals of justice, security and the rule of law. I want to thank Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinobu, CF, GCFR, for the conf confidence reposed in me by appointing me to this position. Being appointed as Inspector General of Police is not just a title for me, it is a commitment and a calling to make a difference. I am here not as an individual, but as a representative of a dedicated team united in our shared vision to safeguard the lives and well-being of everyone that lives in our great country, Nigeria. Together, we will strive to build a police force that reflects the values and aspirations of the people we serve. Nigeria, our beloved country, is at a critical junction in its history we face numerous challenges that require the concerted efforts of every citizen to overcome. Mm -hmm. 
As Inspector General of Police, I firmly believe that our path to a brighter future lies in collaboration, transparency, and the reformation of our law enforcement delivery system. First and foremost, I acknowledge our citizens' deep-rooted concerns and grievances against the police. It is no secret that the Nigeria police force has faced its fair share of criticism in the past. Instances of misconduct, corruption, and abuse of power have eroded public trust. I am before you today to declare that such behavior will not be tolerated under my watch and there will be proactive steps to instill discipline across the ranks. <laughs> Accountability will be the cornerstone of my tenure as Inspector General of Police. I am committed to fostering a culture of professionalism, integrity, and respect within the police force. We will prioritize new ways of recruiting, training, and equipping our officers to ensure they, they possess the necessary skills and knowledge to carry out their duties effectively, efficiently, and with excellence. And this we will do to the admiration of the people that we serve. To regain the trust of the Nigerian people, we will establish a robust internal system to investigate allegations of misconduct within the police force. We will hold accountable those who betray the public trust in us, ensuring that they face the full force of the law. Additionally, we will actively promote a working culture that will encourage officers and citizens alike to report instances of corruption or abuse they may witness. Our police force will be a beacon of integrity. We will hold ourselves to the highest standards of professionalism and ethics. Henceforth, every police officer will be selected not only for their skills but also for their passion, compassion, empathy, and commitment to public service. We will invest in innovative ways to foster ongoing training, promoting a culture of continuous learning where we adapt to the evolving needs of our communities and the challenges of our times. Furthermore, we will embark on an ambitious and visible program of community policing. We will recognize that the true measure of our success lies in the safety and well-being of our communities. To achieve this, we will forge stronger ties between the police and the public, fostering an environment of mutual trust and cooperation. Regular citizen engagement and community interaction programs will create meaningful dialogue and collaboration opportunities. Change does not happen overnight, but with each step, we will be closer to our vision of a safe, inclusive, and harmonious nation. I ask you to join hands with us to stand beside us as we navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Together, we can build a police force that reflects the hopes and dreams of our citizens. Let us rekindle the spirit of unity, understanding that we are all in this together. Let us be the change we want to see, inspiring others through our actions and embracing the power of compassion, respect, and empathy through this collective effort we will create a legacy worthy of future emulation. The fight against crime and insecurity will also be a top priority, as well as the welfare of our officers, and enhance our capacity to respond swiftly to emerging security threats. In the coming days and weeks, we will unveil plans and strategies to secure the nation and build enduring peace across our communities. We are the Nigerian police force, and we will live up to our constitutional obligation as the primary, as the primary agency for internal peace in Nigeria.
we will be bold about this duty. We will also adopt a technology-driven approach to law enforcement, leveraging modern tools and techniques to ensure the effective and efficient deployment of our resources. New policies to promote the welfare of officers will be implemented in the months ahead. We will provide support structures for our police officers that will cater for their peculiar physical, psychological, and emotional needs as law enforcement yeah. officers. We will introduce unprecedented well-being programs to strengthen the hearts and minds of every officer. Lastly, I call upon all Nigerians to partner with us in this transformative journey. The challenges we face are not insurmountable if we stand together as a united front. I encourage every Nigerian to embrace civic duty, report suspicious activities, and work hand in hand with the police to build a safer and more prosperous Nigeria for all. In conclusion, let me reiterate my unwavering commitment to the principles of justice, security, and the rule of law. The Nigerian police force, under my leadership, will strive for excellence, transparency, and accountability. <laughs> Together, we will build public trust, restore confidence in our law enforcement institutions, and create a Nigeria where every citizen feels safe, protected, and respected. In the coming days, I will unveil new tactics to release the great potential of the Nigerian police force. We will secure this nation. We will build lasting peace. And we will deliver on the vision of Mr. President. Thank you all for listening.